guys welcome back to my channel i'm finally back with another video today is christmas eve so i'm gonna be showing you all how we prep for christmas dinner my mom is downstairs cooking and she's been cooking all day and i have a couple things that i have to make so i'm gonna be showing you guys that process and right now i just got out the shower look at my curls they actually look pretty good because i hadn't washed my hair in a while and my ends were so dry but i feel like they don't look that bad my sister's gonna do my hair and i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup so stay tuned i'm about to do a little bit of makeup and my skin looks crazy because I was stressing in school. I hope it clears soon, but it definitely will this summer when I have no responsibilities. So here's what's on the menu. My mom is making ribs, collard greens, um, potato salad. I'm making mac and cheese and I'm making my friend a separate dinner. So she's gonna have like salmon and sweet potato. My mom is also making chicken lasagna and just a whole bunch of stuff. Like, we're about to eat so good today. I'm so excited. Ooh, I forgot to mention, she's also making fried chicken. Do you guys like my hair? I don't know. I feel like once I do my makeup, my face is gonna look better and then maybe the hair will come together, but this is real different for me. finished and I like this I think the hair is growing on me and my makeup is cute this is the shirt I just put on I'm gonna put it on with like black pants and some um some booties hold on let me show you so I'm gonna wear this shirt with these black leather boots they're really cute and I'm gonna wear leather pants but I'm gonna just wear sweatpants for now because I'm gonna finish up in the kitchen and I don't wanna get like too dirty so let's go finish dinner when I came downstairs my mom was working on the potato salad and she's adding some mayonnaise to this she also adds some evaporated milk and she actually makes a mix of olive oil, vinegar, red onion and finely chopped red peppers which she also adds into the salad and lastly she will chop up some apples to add a little sweetness to it for her collard greens she's browning some white onion and some bacon and she also put a little bit of a maggi cube for salt and taste she added a little bit of a seasoning called Ascent, I think that's how you pronounce it and then she'll add her collard greens and she does use canned collard greens 
Um, her friend taught her this recipe and it is so good. She also decided to add a little bit of garlic, some fresh um, blended garlic. And in the end, she's just gonna mix it all together and put a lid on it. So like I said earlier, my mom is also making ribs and right now she's just dipping the ribs that were just out of the oven into the barbecue sauce. She's making some without and some with just to fit the preferences of different people. And these ribs are the best ribs that I've ever tasted and she actually has a recipe of it in her old YouTube channel. So I'm going to leave the link down below in case you want to check it out. For the rice, my mom is making moro de guandules and the rice is almost done. She just gave it a flip and she's digging a hole in the middle for the rice to cook a little bit faster. I guess the science behind it is that if you leave a hole, the steam would come up and then around the rice and the rice will cook faster. My mom's a genius. To get started on my mac and cheese, I'm gonna pour some chicken stock onto a pot. This is where I'm going to boil my macaroni and I got this recipe off a girl on YouTube called Stove Top Kisses. I love her videos. She like is so entertaining and her food looks so good. I'm going to have the recipe linked in the description box. This is also my first time making mac and cheese so bear with me. I left my macaroni to boil for about 7 minutes because I didn't want it to overcook and then I got started on my sauce that goes with it. I cracked three eggs and I added heavy cream and a little bit of whole milk and the seasonings that are used were garlic powder, onion powder, I added some black pepper and some salt to taste. I whisked this all together and in the end I ended up using a little bit of smoked paprika. And to assemble everything, I just added the sauce and all the cheese and the macaroni and I added it slowly and mixed it together to make sure that everything kind of melted. And I added at least four different cheeses because I thought that the more different they were, the better the flavor would be. I added some provolone, mozzarella, cheddar, Montgomery black, and some sharp cheese. I added my macaroni into a buttered pan and as I assembled I did a little bit of cheese, more macaroni, a little bit of cheese, more macaroni and to top it off I put on a lot more cheese to get that nice brown color on top. I put my mac and cheese in the oven and I started on my salmon. I'm adding some rosemary, parsley, basil and thyme into my pestle and I'm gonna mix this in with a little bit of garlic powder and I'm gonna crush it all together. I'm adding a little bit of aminos liquid. This is basically like a soy sauce solution. It tastes just like soy sauce and I'm massaging this into my salmon. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to taste and then the ingredients that I grinded up together. Ended up adding a little bit of olive oil on top just so that it's smoother when I massage in the seasonings. I'm serving this salmon with sweet potatoes and my mom is peeling and cutting up the potatoes. I put it in a pan and I coated it in a little bit of olive oil and seasoned it with thyme and parsley. 
my mom is giving the rice a last flip it is technically ready and on the side she's also frying the fried chicken I checked to see if my mac and cheese was ready and it was ready the cheese was melted on top but I put it back in without the lid so that it can get a nice brown on top now the food is ready we have some sweet potatoes some potato salad mac and cheese salmon fried chicken arroz con guandules we have some chicken lasagna there's a video in the description box for that we have some ribs with no barbecue, collard greens, ribs with barbecue, and my mother also made some flan, and we have some potato rolls and some vegetable over there. Dear Lord, thank you for the time that you allow us to be together. Thank you, God, because we're here in celebration of you and your birth. Thank you for friends, thank you for family. God, thank you for keeping us healthy throughout this time of the pandemic. And thank you for giving us joy and your peace and your love. Lord, I pray that you just anoint the food that we're going to eat right now. And that it, may, that it be well for our stomachs and our bodies, Lord. That it be healthy nutrition for us, Lord. Thank you, God, for the hands who made this food. I ask that you bless them, Lord. And that you just continue on blessing us and giving us joy and your peace. Oh my god, look at her hair. It's huge. I know. Why don't you want to eat my mac and cheese? Try my mac and cheese. No, try my mac and cheese now. Look, he's basically saying it's good. Rico. Thank you. Oh, side to side, you got it. Yo, you learn fast. One, two, three. Right side, right side. Okay. You see how? Don't lift your feet. Just like okay. This, right? But then you lift your feet with it. So you're like running a place? Oh, you want to put it to the side of the Oh, so this one babies wear. But they're for older people. Di diapers. diapers. Um, old diapers. Adult diapers. Yeah. Oh, you're good. That's how you get that point. 